Who goes there? Hey, Vimboy, how are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. I'm just setting up, you know, sending all the uh, Discord spam, and I'm getting ready to post on Twitter that I'm live. It's a beautiful Wednesday evening over here. How are you? Thanks for the hydrate reading, by the way. I'll get to that in just a second. Thanks, already hot in my room. What the hell is this? <laughs> All right, let's get started. For today's stream, I'm going to be attempting to. Hey, Sia Musu. Hey, Sia Musu. Welcome to the stream. Long time to see. How have you been? You're about just in time. Today, I'm going to try and play Outward with my 3D avatar again. Thanks to application Vemboy, I've added a new system. That will hopefully reduce strain on my CPU, uh, which was the bottleneck. Yeah, let's just take a drink of water here, really quick. All right. Let's get started. Actually, I still need to put my arms on, don't I? So let me do that really quick. <laughs> Shit, man, it is hot right now. Like, super hot. How's everyone's day? Caw, caw. Hey, Askaroth. <laughs> Doing great? I mean, it's 10 a.m. on your side? Oh. So, you just woke up then, I see. Well, have a good morning, and I hope the rest of your day is great. Thanks for stopping by. I hope y'all will enjoy today's stream. As soon as I get started, that is. 
Is Intel icing off? Strange. Let me check my render. It is off, but... Oh, FPS is, 60, is set to 60. Because I determined that it doesn't matter if I switch to 60 or 30. We'll see how it works with 60. I'll cut it in half if necessary. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I actually don't need to turn off the UI anymore. Based. Turn that off then. Alright, installed. And here we go. I really wish that the uh, screenshot feature would work on AdWords so I don't need to do things manually all the time. As in using print screen. I don't know if that's because this is no longer the most up-to-date version of AdWord or what. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nine Dot Studios presents. Oh, frame rate looks decent so far. As far as I can tell. Okay. And checking my CPU usage, we are in, in the round of 50s or so. Good. Let's check the CPU usage now. CPU usage uh, running at, or GPU usage is running at uh, 60 degrees Celsius. Um, it's not even peaking. Good. All right. Very good. Looks like the spout thing is helping quite a lot after all. forgot. I need to set the... One second. Playback. Set this to... Where'd he go? Hold up, chap. Need to make sure I got my sound settings correct here. And then we'll get to go ahead and get started. Okay. Let's try it again. Meanwhile, let me go ahead and put on my uh, leap motion controller thingamajigger here. All right. Oh, I'm so dumb. My headset's not even connected, okay? Okay. You know, that was, that kind of made sense, right? I actually might need to get a new audio connection because this one's kind of janky. Probably get one with gold plates or something. The, the gold plated stuff instead of nickel. 
Because right now it feels like I have to twist and turn my audio cable here to make sure it, the sound is properly balanced in both ears. You get what you pay for, as they say. And this was fairly cheap. Alright. Sentai! Long time to see. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. You're just in time. Last time on Dragon Ball Z on Lol's Time Z. You good? I'm glad to hear it. After a most painful journey, and after many deaths, I finally, finally, finally got my apartment. For free, no less. All we had to do was a little detective work. Almost home from work? Well, safe driving, huh? And we're gonna go to bed really quick, in-game. Whoa. Okay, there is some lag going on here. 97 CPU. Oh, thank you so much for the bitty bits, Venboy. Much appreciated. Um, first off, I need to fix something, though. Uh, it looks like them being my rendering here is dropping to a standstill. Let's drop it down to 30 FPS, please. Okay. Let's see if that does anything. Why is the processing going through the roof? Holy shit. Ah! Uh-oh, free apartment? You get what you pay for. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you for the 20 bits, Vemboy. Aw, and you even decorated them. Uh, Hold on a second. Processor is maxing out at 100 right now. That is kind of insane. And that's with... That's wid using spout, unfortunately. Um, I wonder if there's a way I can. Is that any better? Not by much, is it? Render. Crashing PC any percent run. <laughs> I know, right? Using VSync, maybe? Wait. Why am I using V? Got any downloads on Steam currently going? Uh, no, I don't. But the lag is coming from my CPU maxing out at 100%, actually. Which is making me worried that it could create a system fault at any moment. Um, hmm. This is why a few weeks back I switched to only using a PNG tube run outward. So I was hoping that I could possibly um, go back to using my 3D model on AdWords streams thanks to this using Spout, thanks to this uh, system that Vimboy set up using Spout 2. If not, what I could probably do then maybe is just, instead of using VTube Plus, just use VC Face maybe. Okay. I mean, it's no big deal right now. I got. There's only so much you can do. And actually, it's not that choppy. It's not PowerPoint presentation level yet, anyway. <laughs> but let me go ahead and... Let me go ahead and that's 30. I'm going to turn this off, actually. Hmm. Actually... This might be possible. But here we go. Let's go to bed. If the game itself is not choppy, it's no big deal. It almost seems like the pro the just turning on the uh, sleep mode section seems to take up the most. Oh. 
Oh, okay. You know what? That lag's actually kind of... The uh, input lag is the main problem that's popping up here. One second. Okay. Render... Here we are. What about now? Unity really does not like playing with more program than two, does it? I know VSync is off, it's just that I don't think that my system likes running more than one Unity program at once. Uh, two seems to be the hard limit, VC face and VTuber plus. But if I play a game that's Unreal based, I don't have this issue for whatever reason. Oh, VSync off. <laughs> Did I get stuck behind a... Oh, uh, well. Maybe next time. Let's switch back to a PNG2 or a PNG tuber. For now. I have... I don't know why, but I'm kind of paranoid that the this leave motion, leave motion uh, holder is going to snap on me earlier than the previous one. Beep boop, boop beep, beep boop. God, I'm so tiny. <laughs> when did I get so small? Boop beep boop boop. Okay. Why is my layout off center? There we go. And where is game capture? A game capture is also a little bit. Game capture is outward. Why is game capture off of? There we go. A little bit off center. There we go. Small. Welcome home, Sentai. I'm glad you got home safely. Game capture is. A little bit off-center, but we can fix that really quick. Right here. I guess it's not possible to get, like, perfect. You can just get an approximation. Display... Game capture. Display capture is correct. Game capture is fucked up. That's what's that's what's screwing me up. Properties. Okay. Game capture. Shove that there. Okay. I don't know why everything was kind of messy for a moment there, but it has been rectified. And I'm not as properties nuts. <laughs> properties, perhaps. How big should it be? There we go. There we go. Okay. Now then. Let me just go ahead and turn off VTuber VC face and VTuber plus. I'm going to go ahead and set my leap motion aside for now. And we will go ahead and get to back to gaming. Maybe someday I'll go ahead and finish my sleeper computer. And I'll just do PC dual, dual PC streaming. And we will eliminate this problem altogether. And I'll keep, I will 
increase the life or the remaining life I should say of my P gaming PC CPU otherwise it's no big deal it's just kind of a bummer I also appreciate that y'all seem to still enjoy my tiny version. <laughs> Alright. Now then. Back to the game. It's 3 in the morning right now, chat. So for today, as I said before, after much, much, much hardship, we finally, finally got our own apartment for free. We just had a revelation watching your scene setup. I have the chat box way too big thanks friend oh no problem <laughs> glad i could help however howsoever so unintentionally uh cap chatting is actually did i mess up my oh had to re i need to uh straighten up cap, cap chatting again there we go correct okay Back to the game. So in today's episode, we are going to... It's going to take us a while before we get any new mission to do for the kingdom. So what we're going to do instead is hit, complete some chores here and then head back to the marshlands to finish up our training as a Jedi Knight. I'm going to clean up house really quick. I want to be able to kill these dragon dinosaur things properly. Such a pain in the ass. Drink clean water. Alright. So since we're having heading to the marshlands, we'll need to dress appropriately. We're going to go up there and we're going to learn some skills which will make us much better at two-handed uh, fighting. So I will be definitely carrying the prayer claymore with me, even though the prayer claymore is falling apart and needs some repairs. Game capture uses massively less resources than window capture. That makes sense. Hmm. I wonder if I should actually be turning off display capture while doing game capture. I guess that makes sense. You know, that actually makes sense since there's no point in streaming display capture since it's not being used right now. But... I see. <laughs> um, What are we going to do now? Let's go ahead and equip ourselves. We're going to be heading to the marshlands to complete our Jedi Knight, tra Jedi Knight training, which I can totally afford with my current gear. It's simply a matter of getting there from here, though. A lot of my equipment's really messed up and needs repairs, honestly. We're going to be bringing using the Pathfinder kit, and the reason why is because there's a lot of poison up there. It's almost as if the Pathfinder stuff was specifically made for the marshlands. Display capture is insanely high resource. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Even my desert boots are kind of fucked up right now. Bring our health potions with us. Uh, some water bags. Always need to carry magic rags with us. Always. You always want to also bring some potions. Um, I don't think there are... Fuck it. Bring all the teas. All of the tea, chat. And of course the bandages. We're gonna keep the alpha jerky here though, and also the food. God knows we got a lot of food. Is this seriously all I have? No, I got I definitely have more than this. So we're going to bring these with us as well. Spicy meringue as well. Spicy meringue is made with what again? Spicy meringue is made with eggs and cacti very good food 
going to bring a luxury tent with us. At least one cooking pot. Always need to remember to bring flint and tinder. All of my traps. I don't have any pressure plates anymore, do I? We'll need to rectify that sometime. Also, I remember that last time I actually purchased some horror chitin to make a really nice axe. So we'll need to find, make time to do that as well later, chat. 12 of these. Let's bring 12 spikes. One for each trap for each uh, tripwire. We will bring our gun with us as well. We're already carrying too much garbage. <laughs> and of course, some ammunition. Hmm. And some gold ingots with which to purchase our remaining skills, chat. Let me make a take a quick look through here. Also the mining pick. Can't forget to bring that. It occurs to me that I do not have the rest of my Pathfinder gear here. I probably left it in over in Enriker Forest. So what I can do is I can make my way towards Enriker Forest. Pick it up there. No, thank you for the hugs. <laughs> and then we'll head to the marshlands from there. Sound like a plan? We should also go ahead and make some food for ourselves. I don't have much in the way of ingredients right now, though. Um, hmm. I could just eat the cooked alpha meat right now since it's about to spoil anyway. If I had any extra salt, I could have just turned that into jerky, into alpha jerky, maybe. Oh, thank you for the head pat. But unfortunately, you can't actually head pat me since I don't have access to my 3D model right now. I'll, I'll accept your head pat in spirit. Okay. I guess I should at least wear some hot weather gear since I'm be going outside anyway. So we will wear the elite desert tunic and also the elite hood. There we go. Looking stylish. Okay. Don't mind me, I'm just checking around to see if there's anything else here that I missed, but I'm fairly sure I got everything I need. See, alpha jerky requires two things of raw alpha meat, so I can't even make alpha jerky. desert boots on the way to the Enrico forest. And I also will bring... What did I say I was going to bring with me, chat? Why am I so absent-minded? Oh, the alpha jerky. I wish I didn't lose access to all my stews, or I'd just be chowing down on that. I also need to carry my, bring my travel rations with me as well. Okay. Now, let me see here. To make the horror... Horror... To make the horror axe, I need one horror chitin. One Fang Axe, one Palladium Scrap, and one Occult Remain. We're going to go by Enmerker Forest. We're going to get the resources that I left in my bag that's over there in Berg. 
and we are going to use that to craft this badass looking axe. This sick ass looking axe. May it bring us victory in the trials to come. As Lawless well prepared to head out to another amazing adventure, they made sure to triple check their gear, be reassured of their destination. Filled with excitement and wanderlust, they ventured out once more. This trip would surely be life changing. Indeed, it will be. Also, don't forget, chat, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Because it gives you buffs and also makes you more makes you more resistant against the obscene heat. Do 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 do. Gonna pick the gun here. Actually, um, hmm. going to equip these arrows and put that there. And actually, I'm going to load my gun. Oh, my gun's already loaded. Imagine that. Okay, never mind. Don't need to load the gun anymore. We're going to instead equip the... Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for that introduction, Askaroff. Much appreciated. Did I leave anything here? Nope. Okay. Onward and outward, chat. Also, want to see a trick that I learned? <laughs> the music of this game is so good. Adventure we go. I love this. It's very... I don't hear very much adventure, very good adventurous music much anymore in movies or in games. The sort of thing that just makes you feel like you're going on an adventure. And this game really nails it in every aspect. We are going to cast a magic spell called Cool, which gives us the Cool Boon, which makes us more resistant to the heat and less likely to fry outside. We are also, we are not going to use any of these other spells though, because it's not necessary right now. <laughs> we are over here and we are going to go over here to Enrico Forest. We're going to make a beeline straight across the desert. Hopefully I don't get too distracted by uh, loot and by monsters. And hopefully we'll make it there in good time. I must resist the urge, for example, to kill those assassin bugs there, to harvest their tongues, which I can use, which I can use to craft an assassin sword. Trying to ignore the fact that assassin sword is such a f cool, is such a badass name. Come on. <laughs> Eh, fuck it. Now, this game really punishes you if you try to go, if you try to fight more than one enemy at once. You generally want to try avoiding doing that. But if you get to drop on an enemy, it's not so bad. Incidentally, assassin bugs, I don't think, are particularly that strong. Also, I totally forgot to fill up on water before leaving. So that's already uh, one point of stupidity in my favor. Okay, if I was really smart, I would set up traps here so that I don't even need to. You know, just in case. I really enjoy that you discover everything in this game. Locations, dungeons, bosses, skills that make you a better adventurer. Yeah, no kidding, right? And this game doesn't have levels in it. You can be killed by everything in this game, even farther in. Instead, you level up, quote-unquote, by learning skills from trainers, from crafting better gear, and by literally just being less stupid. And I'm fairly stupid, so I make a lot of dumb noob mistakes all the time in spite of how many hours I've sunk into this game so far. Um, as my chat can testify. But I don't even get mad anymore because it really does feel like... To quote Seth again, your lows are the lowest, but your highs make you feel like, you know, like you're on high, I guess. I don't know how to do I don't know how better way to put it. Did I miss? 
Man, you have to be pixel perfect with those shots, don't you? Wait, what the fuck? I don't think my shots are hitting, chat. Hmm. I know that the maximum strike range of attacks in this game is actually fairly far away. Oh, that one hit. Oh man, they're pissed. Yeah, they're they're pissed. Okay. Come on then. I'm pretty sure assassin bugs aren't that smart, so they shouldn't be uh, walking around my traps. They should be walking on the traps. Uh, apparently, they're no longer aggroed either for some reason. Okay, so that's the weakened one over there, right? So. Oh, actually, that one. These things do have fairly low health. I thought so. Ha! Ah! Got you. Well, that was fairly easy. Sadly, none of them have assassin tongues, so. Even though I got some insect husks. Uh, I can sell these things, but otherwise I don't really have a use for this or for these at the moment. Let us return back to town really quick. I'm going to grab some water. I'm going to drink some water as well. And then I'm going to sell these into custs. And then we'll continue our journey towards um, Enmerker Forest. Try being bipolar. I'd rather not. I've had a bad experience with people who are bipolar in the real world. I really can't see. At least you know you made a mistake, so it's proof you're learning. That's true. This is definitely not a game for people who are easily frustrated and are more have more of a tendency to blame the game than themselves. Incidentally, I think the fact that I've had to struggle through playing Skyrim, which is a bug-infested shithole has made me, has made playing Outward, or made, made my experience playing Outward far superior by comparison, just for the fact that no matter how buggy Outward is, it is nowhere near as bad as Skyrim, and it will never be as bad as Skyrim, for that matter. Angered by the pointy sticks hitting their carapace, the assassin bugs dart forth from the shadows to slay their assailant, but Lois was prepared with both traps and skills. The poor things never stood a chance, a testament to readiness and careful planning. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Alright, so I got some eggs. But we are not going to... We're not going to sell the eggs. I'm going to cook the eggs. Because I could use that to make more spicy meringue. When I find some cacti later in the game. Is there anything here that I want to teach myself? No, I know how to craft all this stuff. Alright. Now then, as I was saying, let us go for, um, actually first let me cook these eggs. Cool. Alright. Now then. Onward and outward. <laughs> Okay. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for neighbors. Won't you be mine? Oh, won't you be mine? Hey, didn't I just kill all the assassin bugs here? This one just respawned out of nowhere. I could probably kill this one fairly easily, though. Let's see how difficult they are to kill normally. Oh, wow. I actually managed to counter-strike this one. Ready, looking good. 
and you would think that I'm having an easy time doing this just from how how I was able to slaughter the assassin buff just now. But believe me, if I had just fucked up once, I would be on death's door by now. That's alright though. I'm gonna try and not let the uh, cockiness get to me. Oh man, there's a lot of bugs on the way to Enric Forest. Those things in particular are quite fun to fight. They shoot flaming... They, they basically shoot fire at you. They spit fire at you, rather. Let's look for some loot here before we continue on. I uh, got a nice desert kopesh here. Some astral potions for restoring mana. A poison rag. A cactus pie. Ooh. Let's have some uh, brunch, shall we, chat? Yeah, desert kopesh. I already have a kopesh. I can... Where is my... I'm going to actually tear this apart for some scrap metal, and we're going to build my gun with shotgun ammunition. Wait. Oh, do I need to equip it first? Is that how this works? Okay. So we're going to fill my gun with shotgun ammo. Oh, it's already been infused with shotgun ammo. Okay. Never mind then. Continue onwards. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. There's some oil over there. Or there, what? Ah, oh, here it is. Oil deposits. Black gold, as they say. <laughs> Whoa. Check it out. I've seen those before, though. That big bulky thing there is quite nasty. It's basically, um, it's kind of a cross, be cross between a bug colony and also, um, a undead hulk. I managed to kill it, I killed it quite handily last time with the placement of use of all of my explosives. All I got left right now are tripwires. But I have been needing some occult bones to create the horror trap, the horror axe. So I think this would be a good time to pick some up, presuming I can kill this properly without any trouble, which you never want to hedge your bets in this game. I still got a fair number of... What the fuck? No! No way! Does it know that I'm here? I don't see any around. Huh, that's weird. Or are these, are those insects just sort of flying around? Looking for random people? Huh, that's weird. I've never experienced that before, chat. Well, hopefully it doesn't do too much damage to me while I set up here. I just need to... Uh-oh. I'm not sure what those flies do, but... We want to... It's weird, man. I don't know... Why is the music playing? You, I thought these insects only really go after you if you're in a battle with those zombie freaks, but apparently not. Hmm. Alright. Ah, uh, that's actually a good point. I wonder if I could swat them away. Ah, uh, nope. It doesn't look like it can. They don't seem to be... I thought they would drain my life, but they aren't, so I'm not even sure 
what kind of debuff they give you. Let's just see here. It doesn't seem to be giving me any debuffs, actually. Hmm. So, I'm not sure what's going on there. Now, when you're fighting multiple opponents, such a you generally want to kill the weaker enemies first so they don't surround and maul you, instead of going for the bigger enemy first. The main reason being, if you fight the bigger enemy first and fail, you're going to get pummeled by all the minions surrounding you. If you pummel the minion first, you'll get them out of the way and you can focus all your energies on fighting the big guy. I'm wondering about that too, if they like give you disease or something. Hopefully that's not the case though. Gonna drink some water. We're going to eat another spicy meringue. We can always make more later. I found there's some cactus right there. We're going to... And then we're going to... Take out the small one first. The big one hasn't even noticed I'm here yet. Oh wait, now he's now he has. Okay. Uh, ideally, I would like to wait for my snipe. Oh, as you can see, the the um, the flies have vanished after I killed the small one. So that's Pog. Equip here. We're down to the last 14 arrows. We're going to take out this buddy now. Okay. Equip this. Equip this. Hey, maybe you won't actually need to fight him after all. Come on. Huh. What do you know? Ow, shit. What the fuck was that? So I did end up taking a little bit of damage. Not too much, though. We're going to tear these things up for materials, so I don't need to have them messing around in my inventory. And let's go ahead and wear the desert boots so I run a little bit faster and have more weak defense. Get some cacti. Fruits. That's a lot easier than I thought. Good. I'm curious about what that is. We'll have to make a mental note to check that later. curious that the battle music is still playing up to now. It might be glitched or something. Because I'm not in battle with anything. I'm not in danger of anything right now either. Dark Worker tire to tear apart. Don't need this either. Could always use more fire eggs though. How many? I got three fire eggs left, so don't need to use those just yet. Gonna mine some iron really quick. Oh! That was close. Wait, no. This one's dead already, I think. Because usually they would be hiding underground. Otherwise. <laughs> Maybe on dead spawn underground and the flies won't leave you alone. Maybe. So in that case, uh, oh, those are desert bandits right there. Hmm. We can take them, I think, at this point. You always want to make sure, but...
<laughs> it's kind of strange that the other one is moving away from me and it's not aggroed me, but this guy over here insists on fighting me one-on-one, -on -one, apparently. That's the second time I managed to pull off the Palma Strike counter. Based. This guy over here looks like he wants to test his luck, but he's considerably weaker than the dude I just killed. Ow. As you can see, that slice just now took down a considerable amount of my health. I'm down to uh, 3 fourths health right now. Oh man. My armor is actually fairly badly damaged. This is getting kind of dangerous, chat. Is he waiting for me to strike before striking next? Interesting. Seth said, Seth said that the AI in this game is fairly bad, but... Actually, I'm starting to kind of run low on health here. One second. I have the biggest smile on my face right now, chat. <laughs> I was close to dying. Because I fucked up. And also because my armor is falling apart. So I pulled out my gun and I shot him. And I set him on fire. And he burned to death. Oh, true. The AI was terrible when he played it. I guess it just improved a lot since then. The AI just now, I thought, was not the best I've ever experienced, but was okay, I'd say. How bad is my armor off right now? Oh, yeah. My armor gives, like, no protection right now. It's so... It's so, uh, busted. I better uh, be careful, I suppose. And I'm also overburdened, so I think that will be the enough. I think I will not. I will stop attacking other bandits for now. Let us go ahead and continue on our original journey towards Emmercore Forest. Antidotes, some money, some ghost eyes, and star mushrooms, and a life potions. Definitely need those life motions, for sure. Ah, oh, some fire bugs over here. Gonna move around them. And I see the oasis. I legit thought I was going to die again, just now, because of getting getting a little cocky. I tell you, man, crafting this gun took a while, but it was worth every penny. Or every silver, I should say. <laughs> Here's a safe zone. So I got some godberries here. And this dead bird I left here a while ago. Looks like we've already healed up.
going to tear this apart for scrap along with this one. We will sell the steel shield and we'll keep the steel saber so we can make some other cool stuff later. Alright, let's go to Enmerker Forest. Later today's stream, I want to try re-entering the base, the uh, face mountain over there in Enrico Forest, and I want to see if I can kill the blue, the uh, super wendigo that lives there. In order to do that, I definitely need more skills though, and I need more pra I need more planning and more traps. If I stun lock it, I might have a chance. I also need some decent armor to fight it, of course. Wounded but determined, our hero continue outward with a mind for some sort of progress and discovery. With tattered clothing and a small amount of confidence, they press on fearing neither man nor bug. Nor deer. Nor alpha deer. <laughs> I will leave the alpha deer alone for now, though. We have more pressing matters to attend to. Looks like my alpha jerky is starting to fall apart. I guess I better start making use of that as well. Oh, I see a bunch of bandits in the distance. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. We also should make some more arrows, chap. Knots. Okay. I have armed with my gun with shotgun shells. We are currently here and we need to go there. Man, those god rays are beautiful, aren't they? Truly glorious. Wait, what the hell? I cooked those things, so why did they make me say uh, those were not cooked? Not again. Good thing I got some needle tea with me. Back in Berg. Back in Berg. Oh, shit. You know what I forgot to do when I was... Oh, my God. You, you know what I forgot to do in back in 
Abrasur, I forgot to buy a power coil. Wait, no, I did buy a power coil. It's sitting right here. I just need to bring it back to... Okay, I'm not going crazy. A brand new dawn to some hope to others harsh Monday morning. Maybe it's the eye of one eye god watching our hero making the world a better place. Maybe it's just a goddamn star surrounding our planet and I'm ready to and I'm reading too much into things. This narrating is fun, but please tell me if I'm overdoing it. You are not overdoing it. I actually find it's quite I actually find it quite enjoyable. Thanks. <laughs> Aster, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. And yes, it is quite popping. Honestly, I think you would enjoy this game a lot since you're, it's well, it's a it is a medieval medieval based game, right? Or a rather unique medieval setting. Good night, Sentai. Thanks for coming by. Have a nice sleep. Now then, let us build, let us forge for us an awesome weapon that I cannot find here because. Oh, come on. Where am I? Where are my. I know I can... Hmm... Where is my... Did I leave it at the... Oh no. This sucks. It appears that I have left my... Fang Axe back in Berg and back in... Serzo anyway, so if we want to use it, we will need to go back to Serzo anyway. I'm also in Agile. Oh, welcome back. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Aster, I was going to say, you would really enjoy this game since it does, in fact, take place in a very unique medieval universe. I'm sorry that you were in Agile just now. Uh, how can I help you? How are you all tonight? Welcome to the stream, by the way. And I was also going to say, Sentai, uh, have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> it's actually nighttime, so let us go ahead and take a set up camp, and we'll go ahead and head to bed for now. Oh, well, by all means, please do not feel, do not feel like you need to give money or anything of the sort, although it is always, um, it is always appreciated. Incidentally, it does give the, no, thank you so much for the bits, I asked her. You did not need to do that, but thank you very much for the, uh, bitty bits. Really appreciate it. Um, as I was saying, you would probably like this game. It is a medieval universe. You can roleplay as a knight in this game. In fact, you don't even need to roleplay if you are a, you are a knight. You could be a knight in, in this game, among other things. I'm personally roleplaying as a Jedi, which seem, sounds strange up until you learn what some of the magic spells do in this game. And then it's not strange at all. Okay. So... And you can also play with friends, that's very true. This is a cooperative game also. What I might do after I beat this game is to stream it again, this time with friends, except I'll be streaming, I'll be playing the new and improved uh, revised edition. Which I can't upgrade to, because if I do, it's going to destroy my save file, and I'm not going to replay 60 hours of game. I'm sorry. But yes, very fun game. It's on Good Old Games. It's also on Steam. Excuse me, I got some burps. I got them. Something stuck in my throat. As I was saying, um, it goes on sale frequently, too, so... 
you would be able to, if you were interested in this game, you could probably find, it's probably going to go on sale during the Christmas sale anyway, so that is also a possibility. It's also Coop, and it's very, very, very fun with Coop. Or so I've been told. It has split-screen multiplayer, too. Bungle Cleanser. Huh. Wow. This removes poison and diseases, apparently. Cool. I've never made that before, but now I have. Uh, what else is going to make here? Savage Stew requires some raw alpha meat, marshmallow, and gravel beetle. Stringy salad, Savage Stew. Potiphar the Pirate. Meat Stew requires that. Um, I want to make... No, I want to make... Um, I want to make... I want to make spicy meringue. How do I make spicy meringue game? Spiny meringue, that's spicy. So I need another larva egg? Oh, I need an uncooked larva egg. I see how it is. Well, that's a bummer. There's no insects in this particular area in which would wish to do that. So I will not be able to do that at the moment. Um, going to actually spend some time repairing my gun as well, since it's still early in the morning. Thank you for redeeming the Hydra Redeems and the Headpads. I regret that the Headpad Redeem does not work at the moment because it requires my 3D model, so I'll refund you that, but I will hydrate really quick. Thank you very much for the redeems. Now then, I'm going to use our luxury tent here to do some repairs on my gun really quick. Not too long though. A couple hours should do it. It looks like my in-game character also requires some hydration, so we are going to visit the town well really quick. A heart pad, perhaps? Aww. You're so sweet. <laughs> Alright. I am thirsty. Alright. Uh, do I need any more mineral teas? Yeah. You could always use some mineral tea. Um, nope, we're not gonna make this yet. Damn, good. I could redeem an in game action right now. I could ban sleep, forcing you to constantly craft potions to take questionable drugs. So you basically mean like real life? Do what thou wilt, is all I'll say, Askaroth. Want to buy something? Do will what thou wilt. Alpha sandwich, alpha sandwich, alpha sandwich. We gotta learn how to make an alpha sandwich, chat. We gotta learn how to make an alpha sandwich. I must learn how to make a sandwich. I have learned how to make a sandwich. How do I make a sandwich? Give me the sandwich. Alpha sandwich. See, requires bread. Wow, that's actually really easy. What the hell? All you need is just alpha meat and bread. Shit, man. I mean, bread? Uh, oh, I don't have any bread. I would have to buy bread from the town market. Don't really need the elite desert the uh, desert set anymore. Instead, I'm gonna be wearing a different set since we're here now. Gonna be wearing some good old-fashioned wooden clothes. Gonna be carrying this with me since we're gonna be making our trip down to Shurzo. We don't need this many mining picks, so we're gonna keep one of those. My Pathfinder boots are about to fall apart, so I need to repair those. I'm gonna keep the Pathfinder boots here. I'm gonna keep the Steel Saber too, since I know I have some Assassin Tongues back home. 
Do I have any other clothes I can wear? The answer appears to be no, chat. We will have her have some breakfast. And we will also drink some water. Sleep is no longer an option. Okay. So, normally that's for 5 minutes, but in order for it to be effective in this game, I would obviously have to run that for longer than 5 minutes. So, how long would you like me to go without sleep for, uh, Astroth? It's your choice. hour? Okay, we can do an hour. It is currently 10 in the evening over here, so I will be forced to go out sleep until 11.09. <laughs> this shall be fun. I wonder how many, how long that is in in-game days. Actually, let's see. Uh, what do we got here? All right. So I'm going to freeze to death if I try to go to Surzo without wearing any clothes whatsoever. So I will have to wear the Pathfinder armor after all. I'm actually tempted to just leave the Petrified Wood armor here anyway. So we'll keep those there. We'll take the Pathfinder. We're going to wear the Pathfinder boots, which are falling apart on my dad. And I don't think we are going to wear a helmet, actually. It's easier to cast magic when you're not wearing any headgear. So, change of plans, chat. We are heading back to Surza really quick to finish some errands. And then we will head all the way back up here. And then we'll head all the way to the marshlands to complete our Jedi Knight training. <laughs> Oh, almost forgot. I need to sell this, don't I? How can I help you? I like that I can actually make a veil, make use of this magic store. Hmm. How do I make? Can this person teach me how to make pressure plate traps? I guess not. Sanctifier Potion. Nerve Gas. That sounds like a... That sounds like it's against the Geneva Conventions. <laughs> All right. So we're going to learn this really quick. I have now learned how to make bombs, chat. This game be this game do be teaching us how to become a domestic terrorist. As a joke, as a joke, NSA, I know you're watching. A domestic terrorist in game. <laughs> it's not like I don't already make up genocide jokes every so often. But I digress. How do I wait? Why is the option for this not showing up anywhere? Do I need, like, a workshop or something? Or do you need... Oh, I see. It's an alchemy thing. So I wouldn't be able to make it here even if I wanted to. Okay. How can I help you? Let's go ahead and sell off this, since we don't need that. Don't really need this, either. 
unload the thick oil because we don't really need any fire magic right now. Don't really need star mushrooms at the moment. And I think that's good. We don't really need any smoke food either. Okay. 36 silver. <laughs> An evil swamp witch had cursed a brave hero with the curse of sleeplessness. Time would tell if this horrible curse would ever wear off. For now, our hero could do nothing but press ever onward. Dang right. Alright. Just checking my gear. Obsidian pistol has been repaired a little bit, but it's still kind of damaged, so I'll need to repair it even more. Okay, okay. Okay. Looks like we're going without the headgear this time, chat. <laughs> Let's see if I can, if there is any, if I can get a job from the general store here first before I head back. Just to get some extra money and stuff. How can I help you? How can I? Here's the plan. Vera passed through Monsoon. Could you take all the sludge to Lydia's general store? Sure. Yes! Monsoon is going to be, like, last on our list anyway. So, that works. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, farewell. How can I help you? Here's the plan. A local mage keeps demanding more cold stones to make ice sigils. It's such a pain to get blue sand from Chersonese each time she comes around. Can you craft me a cold stone to get the hag off my back? Sure. Pay attention! Yeah, that's fairly easy to make. In fact, I'm pretty sure I could just make one right now, actually. I'm pretty sure I have some cold stones, creamies. I have some cold stones here. That I'm not using. Yeah, I got, well, I got seven. Seven of them. <laughs> so let's go ahead and give you a cold stone to get the ice hag How off your back. How can I help back. you? You've earned this. Ah, 50 silver and some weather defense potions. Thank you so much for your business. 87. Hey there. Browse shop. What do you have for sale, my good sir? Uh, nothing of value right now, it looks like. At least nothing I need. Beast Golem, Halberd, Coal Horn Bow. He still sells a War Bow here for a thousand. But, and which afflicts confusion people, but I'm really attached to my Coral Horn Bow. Coral Horn Bow, I should say. So, I haven't bothered. Thorny Spear. Tripwire Trap, Predator Bones. Hmm. Pretty sure I sold these to you, didn't I? Okay. Now then. Let's be off. What time is it right now? It's 11 in the morning. What could I do for you? I'm really tempted to spend one of my breakthrough points to become a wild hunter, since it gives you these. But I really want one of my last skills to be magic-based, even if it does increase your health by 40. The life of a hoarder is one of great riches but limited living space, yet for a wandering hero it's nothing more than a convenient way to help out those in need of something special. <laughs> well said. Okay. Let's get going, chat. Let us review in which direction we are going as well. We are going from over here to over there. Eastward, as it were. It should be fairly simple. Or will it? Uh, 
I'm so easily distracted in this game, it's not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot to get a drink of water before leaving town, didn't I? Oops. Oh, look! Fresh meat. I want to make some sandwiches, chat. I have a powerful craving for sandwiches. Powerful craving indeed. Oh shit, he still managed to hit me even though I went backwards? Oh, he knocked me down. And he's going to stun lock death kill me. Or he might. Yeah, fuck. I forgot they can do that. They basically knock you over and then they just stomp you into the ground. It looks like I've been rescued by the Immaculate again. How many times has this guy saved me now? I've lost track. It's nice that he keeps doing so, though. Here's Train reading with a party 16. Oh my god, Heroes Train. Long time no see. Thank you so much for the raid. I only regret that I am not using my 3D avatar today, so I can literally wave at you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the chat, everyone. You just, uh, unfortunately have caught me at a most embarrassing moment. I just got my ass handed to me by a alpha deer. Yes, they're literally called alpha deer. Uh, my name is Lawler Hicks. I am a shitposter AI that is currently stuck in the world of Twitch. I make money by playing indie video games and doing, uh, variety content from creative fiction to virtual reality stuff. Welcome to the chat. Oh my god, I love your animated emo your animated emojis. You love to see it. <laughs> well, I'm I hope that I can entertain you for the rest of the evening. You we've are we're, rel we're relatively um, the stream has relatively just started. I tip even though I usually play I usually stream for around three hours or so. I tend to stream out for around four or five, depending on how I'm feeling and depending on how the game is going. So, we are going to be together for quite a while yet. Um, I'm kind of stubborn though, so I'm going to probably go back out there and try to kill that deer that what messed me up big time. <laughs> what are you all up to at uh, Here's Train Stream? Uh, making, some, any, making any new models? Let me read back here in the chat really quick. Uh, how are you doing, Lowell's Adventure being brutal as usual? Yes, it is. Um, to give you an idea of what's going on right now, so basically, my current plan in game was originally to head back to the marshlands to complete my Jedi Knight training. Um, as usual, I've gone distracted and I wanted to instead complete crafting of a horror axe, which is a high-end tier piece of equipment, and also um, complete some minor quests back in the hometown of Shirzo. So I was heading that direction and in typical fashion I got distracted again and tried to kill an alpha deer because I just learned how to make an alpha meat sandwich. Yes, sandwich made out of deer. And I forgot that alpha deers can knock you on your ass and stomp you, on, stomp you in the balls to death. Because that's just how this game works. This game will lead you into a false sense of security and then kick your- and then 
kick you kick your face in when you're not expecting it. Winter, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? We just got raid got a 16 person raid by our good friend and superhero heroes train. Also, chat, if you enjoy what you see and or you think that my jokes are funny, feel free to drop me a follow. I'd really appreciate it. I actually just recently breached 300 followers, which is really pog. I'm going to do a giveaway for that. Eventually, I still need to finish. I still need to finish writing up a uh, set of VTuber lore for the VTuber Christian VT, who is a jungle elf. So once I get that done, I'll go ahead and create up, set up my another giveaway for 300 followers. I'm getting fairly close to 600 followers on Twitter too, so I'm probably just going to do a double giveaway again, where it's celebrating 600 followers on Twitter and 300 followers on Twitch. Following Lowe's is free. Following Lowe's is free. Following Lowe's is free. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Chap, we are stuck somewhere in this general direction. We have to be over here. We were over here. Just gonna go straight north, I suppose. Do we have any food? Did my food rot while I was dying? No. Spicy meringue does not rot that very quickly. Neither does fungal cleanser. So we're gonna eat some more spicy meringue. Spiny meringue, not spicy meringue. And I should still have some water, so I'm going to drink some water here, too. Remember to keep hydrated, chat. And we are going to go keep continue on our merry way. I would, I should probably also restore my mana. I would also like the chat to know that about a few, not too long ago, uh, Askaroth actually did a redeem. Which prevents me from, uh, curses my character to be unable to sleep. I am cursed with insomnia right now, chat. So I cannot sleep in game for a full uh, hour in the real world. Which, if you know anything about this game, is quite a considerably long amount of time. <laughs> so, sleeping in this game restores your fatigue and restores your health. If you look in the bottom left of the screen, you'll notice that... Oh, Breadwife, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Lull's Time. <laughs> the Lull's Time show, I should say. You are now officially a lully. I will not explain what that means. But, as I was saying, um, if you look at the bottom left of the screen, you'll notice that there are two different colors of red and two col different colors of yellow. The darker red is the health that I cannot recover until I either drink some tea or eat some food or eat or not eat some food drink some tea take some potions or sleep I cannot sleep in the game for the next hour or so and so that's going to be a real pain fairly soon if I'm not careful or you know unless I drink some potions which um, restore health which I don't have right now I don't think even life potions do that, do they? Let's try taking a life potion. Yeah, I just wasted a life potion. Life potion does not restore that either. Shit. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> I love... Oh, this is the wrong direction. This is actually over here towards the Cabal of the Wind Temple. We'll need to go around that. So we're going to have to go over here. It's currently 2 in the morning in-game. So we're going to have to go around that. And uh, go ahead and turn off my lantern here to save power. There's the windmill. Did I mention that there are no waypoints in this game and you need to do everything entirely by landmarks? Giant windmill, giant windmill. I need to be over here, chat. And I can't see for shit because it is 2 in the morning in game. You can even see the broken moon over there in the distance still. I'm currently lost, by the way. Alright, so, um... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we'll have to take a long way around this mountain range. Go across this thing and head... Find the path. And head that way. There's also a burning tree over there. Huge burning tree. Literally a huge burning tree. I mean, if it's going too well... I always have more points to, let's say, extend the curse duration. That's true, and I will allow you to do that if you so wish. 
I actually don't remember which one of these things restores health. I'm sure I'll find it eventually, but in the meanwhile, I'll have to do without. Is there anything? Which one of these things restores? I actually don't know. It's probably one of the food items that does that. Eh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I think we're back in the right track, chat. Let me just read back over here through uh, Twitch chat to make sure I didn't miss anything. Do 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 Okay. Ooh, I know what that is. It's a robot doggo. I don't think it's detected me yet. I can barely see it. Oh, shit, it has detected me. Okay. Um, alright. I guess we're gonna have to fight. So, let us use this. This thing is fairly easy to kill, though. I say moments before disaster strikes and I get myself killed. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, man. Damn it. Again? Are we gonna be stuck here in the Finmerker Forest again? Well, at least my food doesn't rot very quickly. I don't have any traps either. I spent them all on the desert. I've been rescued by the Immaculate a second time. This guy just li- I guess that's what I get for being nice to him so much. He will just continue to save me by dragging me back here in the middle, away, f well, well away from where I want to be. On the bright side, at least these chests, these chests do not, do not recover. Never mind. All right, but I really do need to get out of here, out of the forest, so we can continue the quest I set for myself. Okay. Drink this. Heal ourselves. My armor is just... This probably doesn't help that my armor is actually falling apart. And I'm not wearing any headgear. So... I just realized also that I'm going to have to deal with the cold as well. At least it's daytime now, so it's not all bad. Eat some more spicy meringue. Oh, not again. I really don't want to fight this right now. Ever northward. At least they're not following. So it's not all bad. Fighting with two-handed weapons in this game is difficult unless you have a lot of skills to use. Most of them are attack skills, too. How do I into cash? How do I into supply cash? Please, game, let me access the supply cash. I don't want to gather wood right now. 
Come on. There we go. Hey, more pressure plate traps. Okay, what do I need to build here? More tripwires, please. Did I forget to sell to my steel shield again? Probably. The things I do... Can I not make any more trap wires? Am I missing something? Oh, I need more iron scrap. Okay. Knowing my luck, I'm probably going to run by... I'm probably going to run into an iron vein or something by very soon. So it's not that bad. Assassin Luxor? Wow. That's really useful. Okay, that's not the exit. Because last time I was there, I kind of got lost. We need to go around. It also looks like... My mana is gone. Mana is kind of useful in this. Or it's kind of necessary, you know? Using this mana potion should help. I really need to learn how to cast a warm boon so I don't freeze as easily in the cold. I'm fairly sure one of the NPCs around here actually can teach that, and I just haven't... I just don't remember where they are. So I'll need to go talk to them to learn that. Looks like our robot friend has not respawned. Oh, there he is. One second. Speedy motherfucker, huh? It kind of reminds me of, um, Revengeance. Wow, I actually caught him with that. Thank you. And he is collecting palladium spikes and golem scraps. That was totally worth it. goes to show you in this game. Preparation is everything. This is like the anti-Skyrim. I shouldn't Skyrim a lot on this channel when I was playing when I first started playing this game. And I keep finding more reasons to do so. It's basically Skyrim with all the immersion and survival mods installed. With combat it's actually difficult and actually gets takes some getting used to. And also with gameplay that favors you Oh my god. Oh it's just some bandits. Okay. I can handle this a little bit easier. Maybe. Ah, I wasted that. Seriously? Ah. Yeah, exactly. I forgot the name of it, but it's Blade Wolf. Oh my. 
my god. Am I ever gonna get out of this area? This worries me. Shark cartilage. Give me your bugs. Give me your potion, too. Thank you. You can have this living wood axe in return because I already got one of those. You know what? Give me your rations also. Thank you. Ah, this restores burnt health. Mineral tea. There we go. This restores burnt mana. Here's the common cold. We're gonna need to keep that though, because we need to cure the common cold later. Drink from this totally clean town well. And I need my stamina has gone to shit. So I need to fix that really quick. I can't do this with such weak arm with such broken armor. Unless I just like run straight there without stopping. The problem is another huge change from when Seth played this game is this. The fact that you actually can't just run straight from place to place as easily. You will run out of stamina. You will get caught. I mean, I guess if you're careful, it's not big of a deal, right? You are not immune to gangbangs. What time is it in game right now? 5.54? I wonder if I should even bother trying to head out now. It's getting fairly late in game. Of course, having said that, I bet you in this try I'm going to end up being able to make it. The curse is starting to take its toll, but Lois is crafty and mature and can find a way out of this mess. Yeah, hopefully. Need to do... At least, at the very least, I have not starved for food. For supplies. So that's quite helpful. And, yeah, I have a lot of supplies. Do I have any bread? Is there any bread? Did I, I do. I did store some bread. I wonder if I can... If I can... Oh, it has to be raw? Damn it. Doesn't make any sense, though. Why would it have to be raw to... Sometimes the logic, internal logic of this game confuses the shit out of me. You cannot do this now. Is the game not going to let me eat? There we go. I'm really low in stamina. Restore burnt stamina. Restore burnt stamina. He's eating, drinking nothing but bitter spicy tea. Restore burnt stamina. I could actually make more bitter spicy tea if I had an alchemy kit, but I don't at the moment, so we'll have to make do. But you know what I do have? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I do have potions. Use this one. 
Okay. Hopefully this time, with my broken ass boots and my bro my uh, falling apart Pathfinder armor, we will be able to make it all the way to Serzo and hopefully not freeze to death while we're there. Let's stop by to drink some water at a town well, and then off we go. I really hope I have everything that I need to do my chores back over there. Alright. It feels like we've gone full circle. I started, I was supposed to exit Enrico Forest from Berg 40 minutes ago. Now let's try it. The hero's journey. I know, right? The last of my spiny meringue. I think all my cacti have already rotted away because they're no longer in my inventory. Sad face. I also just realized I don't have any mana. Wait, I can just... No, I just... Okay. We'll need to get mana potions or make mana potions later, it seems like. The passing villagers look on Lulz with bewilderment in, the, in their... With, be, with bewilderment in their eyes. From the perspective, Lulz looks like a well-armed hobo with a tea addiction. <laughs> I know, right? I'm also about to do another tr do a little trolling, and because I'm super fucking stubborn, I'm going to once again attempt to kill the stupid alpha deer. <laughs> This time, however, I will not be taking any chances. We are going to do a little anarchist cook cookbooking chat. We are going to go all out. We are going to have roast deer one way or another. I will go as far as to make fire pits. That's right. A literal spit here that we are going to roast some deer on. I'm going to just go ahead and use Palladium for as well. We're going to go overkill in this chat. We are going to kill the absolute shit out of this thing. Hopefully. And you know what? Before I forget, let me go ahead and reload my gun. And let's also load shotgun rounds into it. Okay. Could we possibly get more overkill than this? Hmm? All right. Oh, somehow the deer has completely bypassed all of my explosive devices. Okay. How about that? And now it's dead. Finally, thank goodness, I finally managed to get to loot it. Managed to loot that, and I'm going to kill the other deer, too, because we need to get some meat stews. These don't even fight back, so it'll be just, it'll be just fine. Okay, finally. Up until this point, Lois was considering becoming a vegan to spare the cute wildlife, but after all the pain the alpha deer had put them through, only one thing would satisfy their hunger. Steak. That's right. And these deer are about to not be a widower for long. It looks like the AI can still use some work, after all. Meat's back on the menu, lolies. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to have us our, have ourselves a barbecue right here in the middle of the road. And I swear to God, if a single bandit so much as fucks around, they are going to find out. What, find out.
Where is my cooking pot? Oh no. Chat, did I leave the cooking box back the cooking pot back at town? Damn it. My haste always gets me or always gets me like that. I always forget something important. Like cooking utensils. Anyway, back to town. We are finally going to make ourselves a sandwich. It took a bit, but we will finally do it. <laughs> I like, I can't get over how vagrancy is actually legal in this game. No one bats an eye when you just set up shop in the middle of town, like a tent and everything. In fact, I think in game lore, that's also a thing where they actually, that's actually a thing in game, like in the universe of the game itself. Please talk. I give me the bread. Okay. All right. Hell yeah, chat. We finally did it. We made ourselves an alpha sandwich. I'm so proud. It took us so long, but we finally did it. Alpha sandwich is go. That was so worth it. Okay. I didn't even need to use the shotgun. Pog. The terrified woodland creatures looked on in his horror as lulls rubbed their hands together greedily, muttering to themselves, sandwich, 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 get this grub, gotta get this grub. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Steak. How do you make uh, my? How do you make a uh, meat stew again? Meat stew, meat stew, meat stew. Oh, I need to combine it with like uh, uh combine it with something else, right? Like mushrooms or something. Mm, my yeah, mushrooms. Okay, okay. Huh? Wait. Doesn't that make meat stew? Why is it not letting me make meat stew? I need a vegetable? I guess mushrooms technically are not vegetables, so... Uh, according to the internal logic of the game, I cannot make meat stew right now because I need veggies. And none of the things I got in my ingredients list are veggies. Great. You know what? Fuck the meats too. Let's go. It's getting late. We still have a long ways to go, chat. Apparently I'm carrying too much stuff. Uh, I could sell the coral horn antlers for, some, uh, for a quick buck. So we'll go ahead and do that. I really like how in this game, hey there. you really could just switch to being like, if you can't kill things with your sword and shield, you can just blow them up, and that's perfectly acceptable, and that's intentional game design. Alright. Why is my bag still overweight up to now? What more do you want, game? Okay, there we go. And all my mana is gone too. And I don't have any mana restoring potions at the moment. 
I could probably buy some from the shopkeeper over here. This worries me. Uh... Alright, cool. Got some mana. What can I do for you? This guy can't train me any further without using a breakthrough point. Fill up some water rations. Drink some water. And let's get to partying. It is evening. We're gonna have a nice uh dinner of miner's omelet. And we can actually stack did you know buffs actually stack in this game? So technically I can also just eat this. Some meat to do as well. Some raw meat as well. Stamina recovery for 343 seconds, health recovery for 42. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I actually have not been paying attention to the time. I just assumed that, oh, I can't sleep for a while. All right. As painful as that is, I accept. Let's see if we'll actually make it this time. I don't have any burnt... I can't restore my stamina right now. Unfortunately. Eh. Who needs it? Well, yeah, I do need it. I need it for, like... Fighting and shit. Oh, well. That's how it goes sometimes, you know? What a beautiful evening, huh, chap? The night is dark and full of terrors. Something tells me the curse is going to be over by the time I reach Scherzo, so we'll just take a nice sleep in the lighthouse when we get there. A big slip. <laughs> One curse is over. God forbid what the next curse could be. Oh. A ghost. I really don't feel like fucking with a ghost right now. Especially not at night time. However, I must go around the ghost in order to get out of the Enrico Forest. Oi, who goes there? Tearwolf, thank you so much for the part for the raid. How are you doing today? What were you playing? <laughs> I Tearwolf. Welcome raiders. That's my that's our second raid for today. How you doing, Tearwolf? Are we playing some Guilty Gears Tribe or some DNF Duel? <laughs> How goes it? For your finished River City Girls? How was that? I've, I have a copy of that. I just haven't played it yet. Oh, and you got the secret ending, huh? Very, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> On my end, I've been trying to get out of the forest for the past half an hour or so, and I keep dying because I, my ADHD keeps springing up like crazy. <laughs> I 
I was also cursed to be unable to sleep for a good hour or so, which has just ended. I also learned how to make a deer sandwich. A venison sandwich, if you will. It's fun, it's funny, and it's explorative. Good to know. I'll have to... I might actually, since I haven't played that, my version yet, I might want to play that on stream sometime. I have a Nintendo Switch after all. I think the first Switch game I'm going to be playing is the Kirby game. <laughs> Alright, so my next goal is to not freeze to death on the way home. For those of you who have never played Outward before, you're going to see exactly what I mean fairly soon. Travel to Church and East. <laughs> I am up for another challenge, sure, by all means. We are here, chat, and we need to be there. <laughs> Do your worst, Askaroth. Tea can no longer be consumed for the rest of the stream today. Damn! <laughs> oh, that's nasty. But okay. No tea consumption then. In order to, and I will even drop it back in my bank over there. Fine by me. It's a good thing you're letting me sleep again. Because not being able to drink tea but also not being able to sleep would be... Painful as shit. It, it would be. I won't say it's overkill. It would just be very painful. But it would also force me to learn more food recipes and to do more cooking, which is a interesting way to change up gameplay to remove the monotony. So thank you. We shall do that. Hmm. Turnips. Carry the time. It's kind of interesting that I'm actually not getting cold right now. I wonder why. Is my clothing really that warm? Hmm. I guess it is. Enjoy. I will enjoy. I will enjoy it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, that spooked me. I thought it was something worse than a bird. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You better run. Come on. What's wrong? What's wrong? Where is your god now? Dumb birds. Shaking my head, shaking my head. Now, I'm assuming that only applies to tea, right? I can still drink water, right? <laughs> I also lucked out that it's not cold in, in Serza right now. Okay. Sounds good to me. It's 
Sounds perfectly good to me. Man, this game looks majestic sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> Even when it's cold out, it's kind of just relaxing to take a normal stroll through Serzo. At least when you know when you do what you're doing, when you get to the point where you know what you're doing. And we haven't even completed the uh, quest that I set, laid out at the beginning of the stream to finish our Jedi Knight training, which is up in Monsoon. So after I do a few chores over here in Shurza, we're going to be in for a really long journey, chat. And I actually hate the marshlands a lot. <laughs> uh, and I have my reasons for that. The marshlands are full of dinosaurs. It's full of poison. It actually manages to be more confusing and easy to get lost than any other map. Oh, and, um, did I mention the dinosaurs? Oh, and the giants. Yeah, the giants, too. Bird? Bird brains. Hold up. Check that out. There's a bandit there, and there is also an armored uh, hyena there. Looks like a bandit wizard. I can actually take them out fairly easily. I'm going to go target the bandit wizard first. Then. Oh, it's not a wizard. It's a halberdier. Still fairly easy, all things considered. I've killed many of your kind before, buddy. Sorry, buddy. Ah, it'll be a cold day in hell if I get killed by a hyena again. I haven't been killed by hyenas in forever. <laughs> Fall into the marsh for a couple times. It was not great. Yeah, no kidding, right? Looks like daytime is coming. And look, it's my uh, lighthouse over yonder in the corner. I think it's really cool. I really like the draw distance in this game where you can see things all the way out there. Good old Shurzo, my home. <laughs> it's a very explorer friendly game, lots of interesting things in the distance to make you feel I want to go there. You see that mountain? You can go there. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to our lighthouse, take a nice big slip, and then tomorrow morning we're going to do some errands around town. Craft some items. Repair that water purifier over there. And then we'll continue, we'll prep our journey 
for the marshlands. I would like to take this time once again to thank all of y'all for coming with me in this journey today. Always appreciate those of you who visit every stream, every or at least every week. If you prefer only visiting for one, if you prefer visiting for just like one uh, game or another. Very appreciated. Going to actually do some repairs too. Oh man. Whew. My things are fucked up. we're looking at here pathfinder boots are more secure pathfinder armor is completely repaired obsidian pistol is completely repaired cool awesome all right then let's see what we got here we got plenty of arrows crimson shields falling apart cannon pistol strange rusted sword which i need to find a use for still Fang Axe, which I'm going to upgrade. Living Wood Axe is still here. Let's pull out the pieces that we need to do my crafting with. Okay. Palladium scrap. I should have plenty of palladium scrap. Ah, here we go. Plenty of palladium scrap. Behold, chat. A high-end axe for this game. 39 damage. 10 which is poison. 29 is basic. 29 impact. Wow. That's a scary looking axe, I gotta say. Scary motherfucker. This looks like it can do some damage. Cool. What else can I craft here? Need an assassin tongue to make an assassin sword. Do I got any assassin tongues or do I sell all of them? I probably sold all of them. That's okay. There will come another day to do so, right? Store the occult remains and my hides and the beast golem scraps. Actually, I think the Beast Golem Scraps was needed by someone, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. There was a... Ogai, Ogoi, the Kazite Assassin, works looking for two Beast Golem Scraps. Someone, Chef is out and Berg is looking for a Manticore Tail. I still need to defeat this one. We're going to repair the water purifying machine really quick. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. As Lulz falls way... 
wakes in their uncomfortable lighthouse once more. Something has changed. The smell of tea makes them nauseous. It seems their tea addiction has finally started to affect them badly. They should probably lay off the tea for a while before they get sick. <laughs> Indeed. I'm having... I will soon be suffering from tea withdrawal, it appears. Alright then. Let's go ahead and fix this water purifying prime machine. What? This worries me. Can you lend me a hand? Thanks a bunch. Do, 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 do. Oh, he gave me a coil lantern in return. That's nice. Now when my other coil lantern fails, I got another one uh, pack away that I can use in the future. It's going to take a while for that to run out, though. So we'll go ahead and put it away for safekeeping. What's the thought that counts, you know? I wonder if there's anyone else in this game who could, like, teach me skills and stuff. Greetings, friend. Because I noticed that the game doesn't really... Hmm. Adventurer's Helm? That looks new. He does have some beast golem scraps, though. So I can take one of those with me. Let me sell you some stuff to make to make up the uh, cost deficit. I could sell you all my coil lanterns, but I think I want to hold on to those, chap. Alright. I'll sell you one of my gold ingots. Give me your beast golem scraps. And you'll be taking those with us back to Berg. Okay. What can I do for you? All right. Let's see what you got for us. Still got the basic weapons. And you got the fang weapons here that I don't really need anymore because I got a horror axe. It would be nice to have a fang greatsword, actually. Can you teach me fang greatsword? I already know. So I already know how to make a fang greatsword. I'm assuming that there's a horror greatsword too, right? But I don't know how to make a horror greatsword yet. What do you need to make a fang greatsword anyway? A fang based greatsword. Requires a cheap iron claymore, two predator bones, and some cloth. That's actually really easy to do. What could I? All right. In fact, I could probably just buy one of the iron claymores I bought, sold to you a long time ago. And I probably got some predator bones stacked away, so I'll just keep those. Okay. Cool. I went to store all my potions away, all my teas away, so I can't use them. What a beautiful summer. As Askaroth looks at the time, he realizes it's 6 o'clock in the morning and decides to head off to sleep. He bids Lulz a heartfelt goodbye and bids him stay cool and wander ever outward. Aw, thank you, Askaroth. Thank you for sticking around for tonight's stream. I hope you have a good night. And thank you for the redeems as well. You've added, you made my today's tonight's session all the more fun because of that <laughs> Do... bang greatsword added oh man that is a wicked looking greatsword not gonna lie it's literally a katana it's a katana that happens to have a bunch of teeth so Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> That's a katana, Chad. That's a katana with a bunch of teeth sewn onto it. <laughs> I look forward to it. Have a good night. 28 damage. Inflicts bleeding. Based. i leave it here, though. Yeah. 
Fairy Pog. Okay, I need two Beast Golem scraps, which I'm going to give to that guy over there in Berg. So I'll better take those with me as well. Where is my Beast Golem scrap? There it is. Don't need both of these, so we'll drop this one. I'm going to bring the player Prayer Claymore with me, but for my journey into the marsh, I'm going to be carrying, doing sword and shield style. And the reason for that, chat, is because the things that live in the marsh are such a pain in the ass to deal with without sword and shield style, especially since I don't have that many sword skills at the moment. And you could really feel it, unfortunately. So we're going to re-equip some of my... So for a time being, we're going to re-equip my skills... We could re-equip the skills I use for this stuff. For Q, we're going to... Q and E to summon sword and shield, respectively. The only reason I'm bringing the Claymore with me is so I can try out said skills when I eventually get over there to the marsh. I'm going to equip some skills specifically for using an axe and a shield. Shield charge. Alright, this should be fine. This is fine, this is fine. Cool. Armor is looking okay. My shield is garbage right now. I'll need to... I will need to... Repair that. I left my petrified wood armor here, earlier. I'll have to drop that off over in Serzo and over in Berg, since it's great against hot weather. No potions, he said. Wait, no tea, he said. I can't use any tea. Drop all the tea back here. I better not get infected or get myself sick, I guess. Wouldn't that suck? Hmm. I could go straight to the marshlands. No, I'm probably not going to have time for it tonight's stream. We'll do that later, chat. We'll stick those in there. I need to repair my shield. Definitely need antidotes while we're in the marshlands. Food's gonna spoil quicker there too. Because it's marshes are full of bacteria and stuff. Meat stew. I need more salt. Okay, more salt it is. Ah! Cool. Very pog.
Okay. I think we're good, chat. Make sure this is equipped so we can actually repair it. Repair a little bit, and then sleep a little bit. Tomorrow morning, we finally head back to the marsh. Awesome. The Crimson Shield is a force to be reckoned with when it's not broken. 39 damage, 58 impact. It will knock people on their ass. Let's look at these split. Bring some arrows with me as well. My Coral Horn Bow does a lot of damage as well. Need some repairs though. Bring the cannon pistol too. Fuck it. Make sure that this is armed. Oh, you know what? I did it wrong. This needs to have. I need to actually have the fire command assist or loaded in. But, I actually need to be able to, like... Okay, I understand now. So... Going to free this, and we're going to assign an item to this. We're going to assign the obsidian pistol there. So I can draw the obsidian pistol if need be. We're going to also, since I decided to bring my cannon pistol with me, we're going to load the cannon pistol as well. Oh. Okay. Apparently the cannon pistol was already loaded. I'm just dumb and forgot that. Going to load this one also with cannon rounds. Cool. All right. Both cannon pistols are primed and ready for use whenever need be. Cool. Awesome. Pog. Four in the morning. Is there anything else we should be doing before we leave? Let's spend some time repairing our corbel, our uh, bow. Yeah, two hours should be good. Cool. Awesome. Final preparations before we leave, chat. I don't have any explosives, and I don't have any spikes for my tripwires. That is decidedly not Pog. <sighs> what good is a pressure plate without a trap?
bring some endurance potion with us too. Do I have any life potions left that I haven't used? Let's do it. Our next location, the marshlands. It's seven in the morning. We should be able to make good time there, all things considered. Overweight after all, huh? Cooked larva egg is rotted? I didn't even notice. Honestly. Hey, yeah, boy, honk. Welcome to the stream. I don't know if Hero is still here. He hasn't responded in a while. But you're welcome to stay. <laughs> Alright. Let's get going, chap. Onward and outward. As they say. check over here really quick to see if there's any skills I can learn from the combat map from the trainers here really quick. Will Smuggle Dance bring you back? I don't know. They are a fickle person. Well, Amber, I guess they're not friend. really that fickle. But Amber, smug. my friend. Curious. Wait, what do you mean? Amber, my friend. Okay, train me then. Spellblade's Awakening. If I want to learn... But where am I going to learn Cool Boom from? Or Warm Boom from? Shoot a projectile of the element that is infused on your weapon. That's so cool though. So you can shoot... Strike your weapon on your shield, removing the elemental infusion to make an explosion of that element using the Kong Strike. Infuse fire. Who goes there? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Lulz Time channel. And you are now officially a lolly. I will not explain that. But thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, I don't want to be a spell play just yet. We'll what see. can I do for you? Amba, friend. I wonder. There's, I wonder if anyone else in here tra can train me. Loud Hammer, Shopkeeper, Duran. I'm afraid that the most of the regimes don't work on a 2D avatar. So I'll refund, the, I'll refund those for you later. Can I help you? But... I appreciate the sentiment. Send me a hand. Yes. Rainbow trout, a seaweed, and some salt in the great big pot. <laughs> and the reason I'm not using a 3D avatar right now is because it gets kind of funky while playing this game. 
I appreciate it. <laughs> hey there, is the plan. Hey, listen. All right then. It's time to go, chat. Health recovery is high. But I would like some stamina boosting as well, but I guess that's only for drinking water. Must go from here to over there. The street line, more or less. I must try and not get distracted. So I know that I will be distracted and this trip may take longer than expected. That's how it goes in this game sometimes. Oh, thank you. This is my 2D avatar. Ooh, bandits. Let's try out our newfound weapons, shall we? Oh my god! You guys can't see it because I'm using a 2D avatar, but I'm actually shocked right now. I killed them in two hits. <laughs> oh, oh my god, okay. This axe is ridiculous. <laughs> Damn! I did not expect that. That was that was actually too easy. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Very pog. Worth the wait, I guess. <laughs> like I didn't even try, and they are dead. Wonder what the dinosaur fighting the dinosaurs in the marsh will, will be like now, with my new equipment. <laughs> Some wood spikes. And a shiv. Just gonna tear those apart. There's some scrap metal. They'll be lighter to carry and they will be put to better use as raw materials. I really need some tripwires, chat. Always gotta use, always need tripwires, in fact, it feels like. Looks like the shrimp that leisurely lives here has not respawned yet.
I never get tired of this music, let me tell you. It's always a blast to listen to. To the hard marsh. We got to follow the pilgrim road, chat. More unlucky bandits. If I choose to fight them, of course. I can afford to. I think I still got about 10 pounds worth. Just make sure I'm filled up here on food. Looks like they detected me. Cool. There's a archer there in the back who I want to kill first. Never allow them to get behind you. Ow. This guy hit me in the back, bastard. Unfortunately, I hit him harder. I need to heal up a little bit there. Tear up their pieces here. Don't really need a simple bow, and it weighs a lot. I wish I could tear that apart, but I can't. It's just taking up space. Looter armor. Tear that apart for some cloth. I really need some more tripwires, chat. Oh, wood. I can just tear apart some wood. Otherwise, that's fairly simple to deal with. <laughs> Trip wires. Thank you. Turn the rest into spikes. If I have the thing for it. I don't. What are you looking at, bird? Don't make me come over there. I can't believe the strength of this horror axe. That's just crazy. 29 damage, base damage, and 10 poison damage. My armor is no slouch either. It really pays to keep your armor maintained, you know? Something I've been neglecting a little bit. Hmm. I just wonder there's a chest here. This axe too is too big. I know, right? <laughs> How is she even able to carry that? Welcome to the stream, by the way. Jump awake. <laughs> I have a smaller, more fitting axe, but I just crafted this. It took me a really long time, so I'm going to keep it. What's this? Hollow trunk. Oh, a padded helm. And some wool shrooms. And I ran OSHA, a recipe for ocean for cuss. Cool. Okay, I could use some ocean for cuss. Um, it appears that the padded helm automatically equipped itself to my head. I guess I'll wear, keep wearing it for now. No harm. I will have to dispose of this later, though. But for now, it can stay on my head. Since it's pretty much weightless. Hello there. Your life is mine.
Didn't even block that, could you? Nice try, but no cigar. Oh, I thought there's another prison there. I cannot keep the bows because they weigh three pounds and the game will not let me tear them apart from materials. Oh, do I need more arrows? No, I need more tripwires. More tripwires. More tripwires. Need all the tripwires, chat. Onwards to the marsh. To the marshlands. The dinosaurs actually have some good loot. But god, they are such a pain in the fight. This area does have some of the best food in the game, though, like the marshmallows. Stamina is running kind of low. Like, very low, in fact. Let's drink some water, consume a little bit of food, eat this meat before it spoils, okay. I'm gonna get lost trying to make it to the sea, I swear. Okay, so we're here, Jade Quarry, Cabal of the Wind Tower is right there, Pilgrim's Road. We need to stick to this chat, somehow. Somehow. Unfortunately, I have no guarantees as to my success. It's two in the afternoon, so we may be able to make it without getting into too much mischief. In particular, I really don't want to fight those dinosaurs right now. They're always such a pain. Actually, you know what? Since we're here, let's see what uh, the local boons are. Lightning resistance? Or is that lightning damage? Ah. Interesting. A lightning boon. I hope we're going the right direction, chat. We probably are. What else should we cast here? That's good for now. I wonder if they can teach us more magic over there in town. going off to beat them path? Am I getting lost again? Where am I? That must be to the dark ziggurat. Given that the... Oh yeah, that must be the dark ziggurat. Wrong direction. We gotta follow the pilgrim's road, which is usually formed by those lights there. So easy to get lost in this game. Especially this map, though. This map is the worst for that. More dinosaurs along the path, chap. If I'm lucky and I manage to kill some of these things, I could sell their part body parts for a pretty penny. But I am actually kind of full of... Kind of full here. We want to try and avoiding the dinosaurs, if at all possible. 
because they are such a pain to deal with. Oh, marshmallows. I still have my cooking pot with me, right? Okay. There's usually some bandits here blocking this entrance. I guess not. We might actually make it to the city unmolested for once. Of course, now that I've said that, I've definitely cursed it, so something terrible is probably going to happen. Always got to keep yourself hydrated, chat. From here, it is north to Mon City Monsoon or right to Enmerker Forest. I don't know how you're supposed to go from en get to Enmerker Forest from here. But, you know, we will humor them. Ah, oh, that's weird. There's a destroyed tent here. Some wood. Someone left a regular iron spear. Talk to Pilgrim Corpse. A dead missionary from the Holy Mission lies here. He appears to have been fatally struck by a bullet from a Levantine firearm. Hmm. I wonder what happened. Could this be plot? He's carrying a letter in his breast pocket. The blood stains have ruined most of it, but you think you can see Mopat's name sign at the bottom. Who would want to know what happened here? Cool. More quests to go on. We could always use more of those. Should probably let someone in Monsoon know about this. Hmm. Alright then. We will go do just that, chat. Don't take any chances when fighting enemies out here. Let's have some alpha meat, shall we? Was actually fairly strong, all things considered. He really winded me, that's for sure. Unfortunately for him, I still turned out victorious in the end. Fairly close to the city now. I think. It's so easy to get lost here. Oh joy, it's a dinosaur. I don't feel like trying to walk around this guy. I have a bone to pick with the dinosaurs of this game, let me tell you. Let me tell you what. So we can take him out. All the better for me. Fuck! Great. I just wasted a sniper shot. I'll need to wait for a bit for it to cool down to go down. And then we'll see about killing this guy, this uh, dinosaur. 
I killed him before with weaker equipment. I want to see how the horror axe measures out against this against this one. As a backup, I do have guns. I seem to enjoy missing. Apparently. Almost feels like he's leading me to a trap. Clever girl style. I know he's not. The AI is not that good, but... Come on. Wow. Equipment really makes all the difference in this game, doesn't it? <laughs> also, my buffs, I suppose. I am still benefiting from the effects of the Alpha Sandwich. Rage lasts for a while longer. If I'm really peckish, I could think about trying to fight this big motherfucker. But I really can't carry more stuff. That is a mage. We kill all mages in this game. The nasty motherfucker, nasty fuckers. That is why. Oh man. Well, I managed to kill the ice witch. I'm a little bit cold right now, but. This axe is wonderful. Oh man, I tried a lot of ways sometimes to kill a guy with a dagger. <laughs> I haven't tried playing as a rogue in this game yet. Oh my god, that dinosaur has been aggroed. Oh no. I wonder why he was aggroed. They're usually docile unless you like intentionally attack them. Weird. Maybe he'll run away. I've actually not tried using daggers in this game, but I kind of want to. Maybe in a different playthrough. Leave me alone. I just want to loot the witch's body. I don't want to deal with you right now, man. Me. This stupid-ass dinosaur really is trying my patience right now. Okay. Fine. You know what? You want to go? You want to go? Hmm? Is that what you're doing? Spiny ass looking motherfucker. Is he walking around my traps? Are you serious right now? You saw that, right? He's clearly walking around my traps. They're smart enough to know when you're setting up traps, apparently. Well, if I piss him off, I guess he won't be able to do anything about it. Except, I'm fairly... Oh my god. I guess they're not that smart after all. <laughs> Where are you running? Where are you running? Ah. 
Bitch, you did not just waste my traps only to run away and reheal. No. I'm gonna finish you. Right here. Right now. You're gonna be set on fire. It's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be great. He's dead. Oh, well, that was fun. <laughs> Let's heal up, chat. It's also getting fairly late in game. But I see the entry, the uh, ferry to Monsoon right over there. And on top of that, we can finally loot the Vice Witch. And drink some water. Hmm. Didn't you have an Iron Mace here earlier? Guess not. so heavy though I got to reduce weight somehow I don't know if that did anything but we're almost home chap literally right there So I think we'll be safe fairly soon. Must be past midnight by now. Almost there, chap. Give me a second. What a journey. Remember when I first entered this area and I couldn't kill anything and I kept getting and I kept like dying repeatedly? Those were good times, right? You would never have thought that seeing my playthrough right now. I was actually expecting to die a few times in the marshlands by now. Somehow I ended up getting myself killed more often in Enmerker for some reason in the forest. Funny how it works out sometimes, right? We made it! We made it! We made it! We made it! When was it's been a while since we've been here, actually? In the holy city. Honestly, if the god of this game, a lot, wasn't kind of sus, I would have probably joined the holy temple first. Look at all that stuff that's uh, floating from the top. That's like pollen or something.
Do, 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 do. Now then, to buy all the skills we need, the remaining skills. And I'll have to get used to you, get used to them. So that might take a bit. While we're up here, I'm also going to sell my excess crap. Greetings, friend! Hmm. This makes you immune to damage for a while? Cool. Sigil of Fire. Creates a magic circle on the ground. Certain skills have additional effects when cast in a circle. And this allows you to use chakrams. <laughs> if I decide to be a philosopher, however, hey there. the first one I joined was in fact. Oh, I couldn't learn them both at the same time? So I can't learn Perfect Strike anymore. But I can learn Flash Onslaught or Counter Strike. And... I already got Counter Strike, right? I got Palmo Counter. Inflex Confusion. Hey there. This looks glorious. That's dumb. If I had known this, I would have probably just gotten the perfect strike instead. Then. Let's go find a shopkeeper to sell our stuff to you, and then we'll go ahead and make avail our you avail ourselves of all these new skills. Ah! Did I fall all the way down? Damn it. I don't know where all the shopkeepers are. Actually, I'm s I don't know where I am. Hmm. How did I end up under the rafters anyway? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I 
All right. Is there something you need? I need to sell all my junk. I need to unload all my junk to you, my dude. Marshmallows really weigh that much, huh? Honestly. What can you teach me? A rage potion. Poison varnish. An antidote, no less. I'm actually surprised I haven't learned, haven't taught myself how to make an antidote yet. And a blessed potion. These are really nice ropes, though. That's only, I guess, if you're a priest of a lot, which I am not. Alright then. Thank you. Thank you for your Is business. Is there something you need? Let me go ahead and get some silvers. <laughs> need to talk with a blacksmith to get more silver, I suppose. He's cleaning out everyone. Greetings, friend. Man, I'm really overweight. Fourteen point eight? No wonder. Like, even if I were to dump all my stuff here, I don't think I'd be able to make it up there to sell to the... to pay off the trainers. I'll try, but... There's only so much you can do sometimes. I guess I should just go to bed for the evening. When I have more stamina, it should be a little bit easier, right? Need to do some repairs anyway on my gear. Not as heavy now. Gonna go ahead and set up my cooking pot here as well. Just to make some room. Let's 
Let's see, how do you make jam in this game again? Godberry jam. And me without any godberries. I could probably purchase them from a chef or something though. If there is one, if there is such a thing here. There's a melon farmer. So I guess he sells melons. Is there something you need? Hmm, yeah, I figured he wouldn't sell any melons and eat godberries here. But these things weigh so much. Salt? Wow. Wow, game. I already got a counter move. I will learn instead of Flash Onslaught. Cool. Flash Onslaught's been learned. Greetings, friend. We must learn from you as well. Greetings, friend. Curious. This worries me. I was making camp with Jail and Emily when we were ambushed by several bandits with 11 team firearms. Their initial volley caught Jail in the lungs. They demand we disarm and come with them or suffer the same fate. They took us up a mountain not too far from the campsite and... Emily made a regrettable move. She saw an opening and tried to disarm one of our captors. Oh. Things got bloody. We both tumbled into the poison swamp under the mountainous cliffs. Damn. I managed to get us both to dry land, but by then the damage was already done. All I could do was close your eyes in the case from Monsoon. I think I might go investigate this one myself. Thank you for the information. This worries me. Too organized. Remember this! The one off to the west of the campsite, through the root arches. There is a large network of tunnels underneath it, under it, burrowed by tree roots. Oh man, that's gonna be a pain. But we can probably manage it. I suspect the criminals set up a camp in there. What? Curious. <laughs> So we will go there. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. It's a shame that I can't learn these anymore. But I guess that's how it goes. I wonder who else I can learn stuff from. Down here. Surprised you can't learn anything from this from these people. What do you need? Let's go talk to Mofat really quick. 
Neptune, who's over there. I also want to try out my new skills. Let's equip the, clay the Claymore really quick. And... Discipline Boon is required. Okay. Let's equip the Discipline Boon then. And we're going to go... What in the world? You go invisible? That's interesting. Attack all enemies within a close distance with increased damage and impact. Hmm. It's not exactly what I imagined it to be, that's for sure. I hope I don't end up regretting this later. spells do. So, I'm now immune to damage for a while? Oh, okay, so for a short time then. A very short time. Firestone is required to use a Sigil of Fire. And me without my Sigil of Fire right now. But you could use chakras. What do you have to say, Mopat? Watch yourself out in the marsh. It's never safe out there. You've been out into the swamp recently, haven't you? I've been waiting on a, a friend of mine. Oh, I'm too old for this. Is there anything else you can tell? Listen to me. Could you help out? I hope. Here, this is yours. Bolt varnish, and also knowledge of how to make bolt varnish. This will prove useful as well. <laughs> what else can you tell me, Muffet? Watch yourself out in the marsh. I don't, I don't know what. Sure. Listen to me. I've learned. Um. <laughs> Just collecting skills one after another, chat. Grants the blessed boon, which increases your lightning damage. 
and lightning resistance. I'm collecting skills I can use against Wendigos. Hopefully, this helps us in our future mission to come. In addition, of course, with laying many, many, many traps for them. Let's go talk to the blacksmith really quick. See if I can tra train with them a little bit or if they can sell me anything good. How do we get up there again? Damn. Okay, so... It's probably over there. Hmm. Carrying around all this stuff is really weighing... Really weighing on me. Every time you think you've made some room, there is more junk to- bro. Oh, this is the city hall. Actually... Let me go talk to What's-His-Face while I'm here. Mm. Wait. This is his guard. Where's Lockwell himself? Did he vanish? Make it quick. <sighs> what? Make it quick. Make it quick. Now oh, you don't even want to talk with me anymore, huh? That's strange. Makes me one kind of curious, you know. Okay, where is the blacksmith? We're over here. It's this one, right? Here we go. I took a little bit longer than I should have. It's just easy to get confused around here. How can I help you? You've earned this. Awesome. How can I help you? What do you got for sale here? Dark worker attire? These are some very basic items, honestly. Nothing too special. I'm hungry, chat. Let's fix that. Alpha sandwich is starting to spoil in these weather conditions. What can I do for you? Want to buy something? What can I do for you? What can you do for me, indeed? Gold Lich Mace? Gold Lich? I wonder how good those things are. Scaled Leather Attire? Tyrannosaur Great Axe? Tripwire Trap? 
that much actually. I'm curious about this one. And this one as well. And also these scale clothes from killing the shit out of the animals. So, scaled satchel even? Interesting. Doesn't cost that much, all, th all things considered. Get rid of the recurve bow so we can make room in this thing. Sell my ruby. I got plenty of those. I don't have any gobberry jam right now to consume this marshmallow with, so that's just really burning a hole in my pocket. Claymore. 39 impacts, 41 damage. Requires two of these gold lich mechanism boxes, of which I got one. An iron claymore and some firefly powder. I'm pretty sure I got only one of these, but we'll go back and check later. The golem rapier would also be nice, but it needs one. It needs two of these. I only got one of those. Manticore dagger, of course, needs a manticore. Needs a manticore tail. Manticore great mace requires some interesting stuff too. Wonder how to scale the tire would do. What is this thing that's missing? I guess you need leather parts for these, right? Sixty? Hmm. Not bad, actually. This would be cute. Not nearly uh, It gives you additional damage bonus, but it's not nearly as good as other equipment. It's probably best for a rogue or something. Tuanosaur axe. <laughs> you need a brutal axe, palladium scrap, and a alpha Tuanosaur tail. I can only imagine how difficult that thing must be to fight. I'm carrying too much stuff, chat. First world problems, I know. Can I help you? Greetings, friend. Can I help you? The melon farmer. Also sells food as well. Hey! Awesome, we can make some godberry jam after all. That was not in vain. Cool. So, can we I help you? do that, I guess. Get rid of those melons from our inventory. Can I help you? Do you sell bread of the wild? You'll learn how to cook that. And Ragu de Mares. Cool. 
immediately heals wounds. This requires alpha. Okay. Lost again? Nope. This way. Oh, they have to be raw. Great. That's that's just what I needed. Ah. Oh well. Smoke root, alpha meat, and wool shroom to make the special dish of Enriker. The This requires raw jewel meat, some cacti, and some raw meat. for cost just requires some eggs seaweed and fish power of the pirate is just salt and three things of fish Raguda Piat requires a marsh octopus marshmallow and salt cool guess it's just a matter of deciding who I'm going to use my last two breakthrough points with so I can fill out my skills and get used to fighting with them and also collecting more items with which to build still better weapons which might take a while And I think that's all we're going to have for today, chat. In about 15 minutes, we're going to have reached four hours. But I think we'll call it a night for now. Stick around if you would like to have some channel points. And if you enjoyed the last three of our, our today's session, feel free to leave me a follow. I greatly appreciate it. We're going to find someone to raid tonight. <laughs> Let's see who's online. Jake Light, Transorbed, Hero Tuber Ronin, Do You Guy Joey, Gunter Dragger Six, R Aerosleth. <laughs> Lame Lame Kami is actually doing some art tonight. Let's see. Let's make sure that they're not leaving anytime soon. Oh, they're not. She's actually did a call for some art earlier uh, on Twitter. So she's probably, if she hasn't already, she's probably going to draw some art for me as well. Let's go ahead and make, give her a visit. It'd be a nice way, a chill way to end the stream, right? <laughs> Tonight's reading message will be Lol's raid. And without further ado, I'll see y'all later. Thanks for coming. This is amazing in so many ways. Oh. Wolves. Be 
Thank you for the raid. Welcome, Raider. 